Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to the one who seeks. We're here, the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right, I woke up very emotional today. I just did a reading for myself. Um, bringing in my, my dog who has passed in May. 515. Um, it's been almost five months now. So in 10 days or five days, it would be five months. Interesting. By five changes. All right. I'm very emotional today. I apologize if I start crying. Um, I want to see what messages want to come through today. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to figure out a spread here. I think I was going to do my own spread. Uh, I think I need to embrace, accept, and let go today. Let's see. All right, using the dog tarot. Actually, I'm going to pick some tea leaves first. Okay, embrace, accept, and let go. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of months here. Oh, gong. gong. Oh, all right. And we have Gong, an exciting event. We have November, which is next month. We have Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Shield, you need to defend yourself. We have March. We have October. We have January. Star, guaranteed success. Ladder, climbing towards success. Wow, a lot of success here. And marriage. All right, March. October, we're in October right now. Oh, March. Mm. March is my cousin's birthday. January is the new year. Let's see. This is very similar to the one I just did. Um, for myself, a lot of success, but I need to defend myself. There's something I need to defend myself about, right? So, um, there's definitely this energy in the air in this one I had first last time, which is interesting. Okay. And that's what I need to embrace. I need to embrace the fact that I'm just lying around on the couch most of the time eating these treats. I need to embrace the life that I have right now. Okay, accept. 
yeah. Except the the warmth of this bed. It's like breakfast in bed here, right? Except love in my life. Embrace where I am, except love. And the Queen of Wands. So all those same cards are basically coming out. I had this one in the last one too. I believe it was also the third card. Okay, and let go. So as I was saying in my last reading, I did macrame in 2020 during the pandemic. And I feel like it's time to let go of the past, right? And what was going on during that time, living in the house that I was living in. Okay. And this is a collective reading. I keep saying me, 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 but this is for everyone. This is the energy in the air. Okay, I want to know about this one. So that's the snacks. That's going to be swords. The suit of swords represents air and it is concerned with intellect, words, and other matters of the mind. In the deck, these are represented by beloved treats. Okay. And I X. Oh, dang. My book is just falling apart. See that? Okay. So, swords is what I said. Right. Yeah, swords. Okay. And cups. Swords. It's the nine. I X is a nine. Okay. Your nervous system is in overdrive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been in overdrive for a really long time. And not even treats or a forbidden sit on the couch are comforting. Yeah. Upright. You can't sleep. You're full of dark, fearful thoughts. You're worried and plagued by anxious thought loops. Try to access whether the reaction to the situation is right-sized or if you're in the midst of a freak out. Yeah. Definitely been feeling that. In reverse, it's worry has escalated to chronic anxiety. You find yourself overreacting to everything, jumping at shadows and expecting the worst. The state of mind can make a bad situation worse and affect your physical health too. Absolutely. Been feeling that. There's no shame in reaching out and asking for help. This position can also indicate that someone has put their nightmares back where they belong and has started the process of healing. And that's uh, 107, it's an 8. It's about manifesting new things. The infinite loop, breaking the cycle. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like I can't ever get comfortable anymore, no matter how I sit. I do feel like I need to get out and exercise um, and do something more fun get my body moving, but I just have no motivation. Uh, nothing excites me. I'm in like this hermit mode. I'm just wanting to hide myself in the world, right? So it's time to embrace the fact that I need to get out there, right? And get out of this discomfort zone. You need to get out of this discomfort zone. I don't know why. I just... This is supposed to be a collective reading. I just keep saying 
I, 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 me, 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 me. Right? It's time to be selfish and do things for myself. And not necessarily doing everything for everyone else and for others all the time. Right? Because this makes me a cold person. This is my downfall, right? This is what makes me die inside. It's time for me to protect myself, to love myself. Okay? Open myself up to new friendships, have tea with somebody. All right. March keeps popping out to me for some reason. I want to know what March has to do with anything. One of leashes. They were pretty vague here, so I'm going to have to read this one. Um, I feel like it's, you know, time to go out for a walk. All right, leashes. Bulls, leashes. The one of leashes suggests your dog's energy and or spirit are being restricted by human limits that however well intended may be counterproductive. Yeah, I definitely feel that. The card serves as a reminder that control can get out of control. The one of leashes asks you to review and evaluate your rules. Are they prompted by current concerns or by past fears? Yeah. Fears you must work through on your own. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is just kind of an extension of the reading I did for myself. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fears that I'm going through. Um, and I do feel like I need to go be alone. I uh, need to kind of get away from my marriage. Maybe not necessarily a divorce, just a, a bit of separation to have my own personal space and to give him his own personal space, right? To get out and make some new friends um, so that I don't die here because I feel like this this relationship is not necessarily being watered, right? And so I'm just dying inside. And just drooping and not being my true self and standing tall, right? I've got my head down here. It's time to get out and about by myself. Go walk myself, right? All right. Uh, let's see. I just want to pull one of these. Let's see. Sacral chakra. Directly associated with intimacy and emotional needs influences thoughts about feelings boundaries sexuality creativity pleasure attachments addictions letting go issues include sex drive imbalance feeling vulnerable sexual incapacity bladder prostate difficulties back pain affects adrenal gland spleen kidneys blood sugar and uterus affirmations i am a creative being and i am free to express myself my sexuality is healthy sacred and safe i am worthy of all the gifts the universe has to offer my feelings are here to guide me not stop me i am free from all forms of addiction i can always choose to be open for joy and pleasure naturally which I find interesting um, 
So I personally have no sex drive whatsoever. Uh, it's very fucking personal. I know, TMI, but it's been for years now where I just have no passion for anything, right? Even sexual pleasure. And it's time to come out of that. And here with addictions, it's like, because I am so unhappy with what I'm doing in life right now, uh, I feel like I just want to smoke some marijuana on a constant basis. And I've quit for several months at a time. And then I started this new job and I was still going to not do it at all. Um, you know, I don't do it while I'm at work. I do it when I come home, but it's like, I can't wait. Even when I wake up in the morning, it's like, I already can't wait for the day to be over so I can come home and take a puff of weed, which is an addiction. It's trying to <clears throat> blind myself from what I'm feeling because it's too overwhelming. And I'm just not satisfied with life. And it's like the only thing that I have to look forward to. Other than coming home to see my dog. Okay. I release my sacral chakra related contracts, agreements, limitations, beliefs, rules, or blindings that no longer serve my highest good. I hand them over to spirit to correct or return to source. I would rather see repeat any affirmation above that resonates with you. Okay. I am grateful for this healing and so it is. All right. Healing meditations. Breathe in a fragrance like orange or jasmine by applying a blended oil directly on your hands. Or use an oil diffuser, incense, or candle. Now hold crystals such as sunstone or carnelian on the sacral chakra area. Enchant both O and Vam for a moment each. Okay, healing meditation. Yeah, I definitely feel I need a lot of healing. Uh, the world needs a lot of healing. I think there's a lot of addictions out there in the world. Um, we're all here just trying to survive, and it's getting harder and harder every day. Uh, we have a government that's against us, right? Who is not helping us, supporting us, and trying to make life easier. They are making life harder in every aspect that they possibly can. So it's up to you to pull yourself out of this and protect yourself. Right? Get yourself into this space here, this Queen of Cups. Center your emotions. Be strong in your convictions. Be creative, have fun, feel good, be secure, get out, take care of your body, take, you know, go for a walk, enjoy the falling leaves right now, go enjoy some tea with a friend. Okay, I feel like that's the end. Um, yeah, definitely feels like an extension on my other reading. Um, but I do feel like that is the energy in the air right now. It's definitely a lot of that energy. Um, going into a women's retreat and listening to other women's stories and hearing that we pretty much all have the same things going on. Right, a lot of family issues happening right now in this universe. Um, and recognizing that you need to take care of yourself and have boundaries and put up your shield, even with family, right? Even if it's your husband, wife, 
Uh, it could be mother, father, brother, sister, anybody in your family uh, that's making you feel cold here and icy. It's time for them to all fall away, okay? It's time for you, you to perk yourself back up, right? The sun is coming out here. This is like a snowy uh, tree area and the sun eventually will get warm enough to melt this snow. Okay, success is guaranteed. Look to the stars, all right? We're climbing this ladder to something higher. And here I got my scuba just waking up um, and greeting me this morning. Yeah, he's been super sleepy. Um, so, yes, that's your reading for today. Thank you for being here with me. Um, I keep mentioning that I'm trying to climb this ladder myself uh, to success. I'm trying to be very consistent with doing my readings every day for you guys um so that i can actually grow my business and my self-esteem and my self-worth and something that i love to do but uh for some reason don't do it all the time right there's that depression that holds you down uh from doing the things that you love and it, it's time to get back up on that ladder and start climbing. Um, so I, I'm working on myself for me. Um, also to help you, right? So, uh, but it is time for me to be selfish and take the time that I need as well to take care of myself, right? And not be worried about what everybody else wants or needs like I normally do. Um, I think us as people who are been traumatized by something in their life really become people pleasers as we grow up and um, it's time to break that. He's shaking the whole trailer. <laughs> um, break that pattern, break that addiction. Okay. Be well, everybody. I love you. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.